When astronauts return to Earth after spending time in space, their bodies undergo a complex process of readjustment due to the effects of prolonged exposure to microgravity. Space missions, especially those lasting several months like those on the International Space Station, ISS, can cause significant changes in various physiological systems which astronauts need to address upon their return. Here's a detailed look at what typically happens to astronauts when they come back to Earth. In space, the absence of gravity means astronauts do not use their muscles as extensively as they do on Earth, where they constantly work against gravity. As a result, muscles, particularly those in the lower body and spine, can weaken and atrophy. This muscle loss can affect posture, mobility, and overall strength. Upon returning to Earth, astronauts often feel weak and require a rehabilitation program involving strength training and physical therapy to regain their muscle mass and function. Recovery can vary, but usually takes several weeks to months. In microgravity, bones experience a decrease in mechanical loading, leading to a reduction in bone density, especially in weight-bearing bones like the spine, hips, and legs. This condition, akin to osteoporosis, increases the risk of fractures. Astronauts can lose up to 1-2% to of their bone mass per month while in space. The process of regaining bone density once back on Earth can take years, and some astronauts might not fully recover their pre-flight bone density levels, making ongoing monitoring essential. Back when I was going there, so that mission, my long-term mission was back in 2008. And back then, we were still losing bone density and muscle mass. We lost about 1% of bone every month. Microgravity causes bodily fluids to redistribute from the lower body to the upper body, leading to facial puffiness, nasal congestion, and increased intracranial pressure. This shift also affects the cardiovascular system, altering blood volume and pressure regulation. On Earth, this can lead to issues like orthostatic hypotension, where astronauts may feel dizzy or faint when standing up quickly. The heart, which works less hard in space, may also shrink slightly, necessitating a period of cardiovascular rehabilitation to strengthen the heart muscle and improve circulation. The vestibular system, which helps control balance and spatial orientation, becomes disrupted in microgravity. This can result in disorientation dizziness, and impaired coordination upon return to Earth, where gravity suddenly reasserts itself. Many astronauts experience difficulty walking, standing, and maintaining balance, a condition known as space adaptation syndrome. It may take days to weeks for the vestibular system to fully readjust, with some astronauts requiring targeted physical therapy to expedite this process. Vision problems are a common issue among astronauts primarily due to fluid shifts that increase pressure in the skull and on the optic nerves. This condition, called spaceflight-associated neuroocular syndrome, SANS, can lead to changes in the shape of the eyeball, causing vision to become blurred or farsighted. While some vision changes are temporary, others may persist long-term, requiring corrective lenses or, in some cases, surgical intervention. Space exposes astronauts to higher levels of cosmic radiation, which can damage cells and increase the risk of cancer and other health issues over time. While spacecraft and the ISS offer some protection, astronauts are still exposed to significantly more radiation than they would be on Earth. The effects of this exposure are not immediately apparent, but are monitored over the long term through medical follow-ups and health checks. Microgravity can alter the function of the immune system, making astronauts more susceptible to infections. There is evidence that the stress of space travel, combined with microgravity, affects the distribution and function of immune cells. Upon returning, astronauts' immune systems may take time to normalize, requiring them to be cautious about exposure to illnesses and infections. In space, aspects of the immune system appear weakened, which could lead to infections. Other aspects appear overactive, which could cause allergy or hypersensitivity. Certain viruses, such as the virus that causes chickenpox, have proven to reactivate in microgravity. This doesn't mean the astronauts are sick, but is evidence of immune changes in astronauts that may precede disease.
Each astronaut's experience can differ based on their unique physiology, the duration of their mission, and the conditions they encountered in space. Nonetheless, the comprehensive support provided upon their return helps ensure they can recover fully and maintain long-term health.